this is my made in 1974 July searchlight signal it um, was made by the Westinghouse Authority back in year 74 about the time period when Westinghouse started to take over McKinsey and Holland Signal Company now this signal did have problems when I got it like the search the um, banner was completely uh, had a little bend in it you can't tell now but it was really bent on one side um, I'll refurbish that I, for anyone else I do have the um, the visor that goes on the front but that's in my bedroom as I got as I've been in my old, in this place at the moment and I'm going to go yeah, I got it on there but when I do move to my new house in the future this is going to be set up like it would have been back in the year 1974 on an actual pole and working like it would have been on the railroad at the moment I've got it on a my control switch I press 2 problems come back to it now It's got to be all. I think I have to all the 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 um the 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 pivot arm because it seems to be jamming up a lot. This signal. I'm gonna like, bang the insert quickly and see if that actually sorts that problem out. It should not be actually jamming like that. What it's doing now. I've never known this to do it before. What is it going here then? Bang that, see if, it, see if the glass covers actually move. Sometimes if the glass cover moves, it can start causing you problems on the um, searchlight signal. Now it's not doing it now. When I say glass, I don't mean glass, actually it's a plastic cover. Like I also got a manual it's not my, it's not the power supply doing because it's wide like it would have been when it was on the railways minus all the control gear would have been using to control this this was used on the Metropolitan Railway um, right up until I think 2020 when it got taken down by the level crossing removals now this one particular one came off the Frankston line I don't know which station exactly it came from but I know it came off the Frankston line somewhere like very recently I think it was about when did me and Victor on the railroad to that stuff? I can't take I think it back in um, um, February or maybe January this year. They, we actually lost in a searchlight when it was actually taken down from Parkdale Station um, by the of course by the of course removal already. Now I'll show you my manual control switches I have for this searchlight, and I'll show you the inside of the housing properly. I made this control box so I can control it in the signal cabinet without having to go all the way out to get the remote control but this is the signal control box yellow you can see it shining on the wall it's yellow if I switch it to green it goes green on the wall put it back to stop turns off now you can go straight to green on this without having to go to yellow first you see it goes to green Now I am using American 110 volts here to get it to work. I'm doing now. I've got the step down transfer. It has a grand fault so interrupt or GFCI outlet. We have one, and I've got an American plug on this Lumix cable, 240 volt cable, wired to that plug. I did that so I don't accidentally plug it into a 240 volt setup to blow the surge up. But it's ground fault protected. This signal. If I that's gone off now. Yeah, if I trip, if I trip that, it turns off. Here's the Westinghouse logo. I'm doing it as a quick video because I'm not really doing it a good video of it yet, but I will do a good video and I have it properly set up on the pole in the future. I feel like getting one of those US and there, something it's H5 or something like that was a similar insert to this one with those green, red, and yellow and putting it into this housing because I don't like where these have 110 volts to wire them up. I should have lamp housing. Oh, God, that's hot. I won't touch that actually, it's quite hot because it's an incandescent light bulb. But that's where the 110 volts gets connected. That's where the 11 volt AC gets connected. 
um, and the tw it's normally six volts of the lamp. But the way I've got it set up is a few substitutes what I had to do because you couldn't get certain things for these. One, I'm using a 9 volt AC transformer where the 11 volts would have been because you can't get 11 volt transformers um, anymore locally. They're really expensive online, so I didn't buy one. Um, I substituted the 6 volts light bulb to be a 12 volt because 12 volts are more easily available. Now I could get this out to show you what bulb I'm actually using. Alright, there we go. That is not smoke, it's actually dust, I think. Just using that light bulb, as you can see. Oh, let's go back quickly. Now, one thing I've never seen in Australia, um, this goes for searchlight heads. I've never seen an actual burnt out searchlight. Actually, this when the when the bowls burn out without being I don't think I've changed the bowls so they burn out. But inside that control box, and I will turn off the 110 volt to show you in there. So it's got some cheap relays. A few relays in there and a few bits of wire in there for the one in the um, voltage it needs. That, what, that black thing sticking out is the antenna from the garage controller. Looks really cool. I'll show you the searchlight because I'm doing its thing now. That's yellow. Green. There's the um, stamp on the back. July 74, MCK in Hat Holland, that's McKenzie and Holland Signal Company, and it's got West for Westinghouse, Melbourne, Brisbane. There's the circuit diagram. It was last tested in 2008. They didn't really get another testing, but I should write when it was tested. I should have put 2020 on here, or 2021, when I got this first off. But when I put it up on the pole, I'll stick a um, bit of paper in and I'll write test it on a certain day and I might do that in a bit of a bit of masking tape actually marking our testing this signal um, so I know why I tested it last there's your original plug you can see the local coil requires 11 volts the control requires 110 searchlights are still being used on the Victorian railway system over here there's a few cities around still has searchlights. There's a whole bunch in the Richmond area. This is um, because I have a few American friends watching this channel. It's not M Richmond in America. It's Richmond in Melbourne, Australia. And there's a few around the, um, around the network as well. There's one at Macaulay Railway. That's a double stacked one. Like with these heads. But it's actually a Western Mackenzie and Holland one. But it's still in use. And it was initial time in the 60s, early 70s. And it's still in use. But that's my original. Um... Westinghouse slash Mackenzie and Holland original searchlight signal from 74. And it works like it's, like it's brand new. Like I said, we'll have to take a look at the inserts, see what's going on where it jams sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. Now, that's not the original glass lens that's in here, I will say that because when I got it, it had our American General Signals um, company lens in here. I think um, General Signals actually emerged with Westinghouse um, when we had it over here because they did have a lot of things made by the Americans here now in Australia. I will say Americans actually do a very good job on their signal equipment and we do also do a good job as well. But we don't even make signals over here. Like signals here are not made anymore over here. They're actually made either in the, over in New South Wales or they're made in China and all that now. But searchlights are being phased out here. But fun thing fact is the searchlight shape like this is staying on our signals, actually keeping this shape but putting LED ones in. There are actually some, some places on the rail I've seen over here, they actually use these original housings, they've actually fitted them with LED lamps. They are, um, Hobbes Crossing, good example of that. They've got original Westinghouse heads like these, but had, but had retrofits inside to have um, LEDs. But this is the original, it's never been refurbished. Um, but I have I am going to refurbish again this this is using out this standard cheap paint but we'll be saying this completely down and doing it with outdoor indoor weatherproof matte uh, gloss paint to give it a coat of paint but this is my original searchlight for 1974 made by the Westinghouse slash McKenzie and Holland Signal Company